Okay, we've reached our final pencast of the semester. I thought this would be a good place to stop in that it, uh, this pencast is going to conclude with some of the most starkly contrasting results of hyperbolic geometry with Euclidean geometry. And so uh, we're going to talk about triangles and later briefly about quadrilaterals again. And this familiar result we have about uh, in Euclidean geometry that some of the angles of a triangle add up to pi radians or 180 degrees. Uh, at this point, it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that this uh, might be false for uh, triangles in hyperbolic geometry, and we are finally getting toward, to the point where we have the machinery to show that it's false and the precise way in which it is false. So theorem 9.10 uh, takes care of a special case for us. It says that the sum of the measures of the angles in a right triangle is less than pi radians. And so we have uh, one assumed angle to be pi over 2, and the other two angles uh, are alpha and beta. And what we're going to do is we are going to take this triangle, and we are going to uh, essentially cut it uh, in half widthwise. And we're going to construct a copy of the smaller piece up top. So we're going to extend this line here, and so that we have this length equal to this length. Um, and since this is the midpoint here, this length is equal to this length, and we are going to do this by constructing a right angle. Okay, so we now have um, we now have a Lambert quadrilateral. We have a right angle here because this is drawn upward. This is a line drawn perpendicular to the, the base of the triangle, uh, <clears throat> and we have a let's see, we have this side equal in length to this side. So the side 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 congruence shows that this angle must be a right angle, and so now this alpha angle here, down here, ends up being over here. So alpha plus beta is the measure of the fourth angle of this Lambert quadrilateral. And as such, alpha plus beta must be less than pi over 2. Now, since our third angle is pi over 2 itself, this means that the sum of the measures of the angles of the right triangle add up to less than uh, pi over 2 plus pi over 2, which is pi radians. Okay, now in proof set 8, I'm leaving a couple of proofs for you. Uh, you are going to extend this result uh, to all triangles rather than just right, tri right triangles, and then you're going to use that result to prove that the sum of the measures of any convex quadrilateral is less than 2 pi radians. And while I'm on the topic, I, I want to discuss why it is important that the quadrilateral be convex. Um, and the reason is, if you have a quadrilateral that is not convex, Oop, I ran out of room. And then, of course, you're going to have angles that are uh, overly large. And frankly, the, the reason uh, we require that the quadrilateral be convex uh, is has, has to do with one of the... Um, basically, it has to do with the, the method of proof of this theorem. Uh, you're going to... You're going to draw a line from two non... You're going to draw a line between two non-adjacent uh, vertices of the quadrilateral, and you need to know that that line uh, stays inside of the quadrilateral, and that's what convex gives you. Uh, all right, so I hope you have enjoyed our discussions of hyperbolic geometry. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please uh, don't hesitate to ask.